Hello and welcome to the show. We are here on GTA 5 today with some more racing. We are tackling a street circuit, this particular one built by about 19 Wookiees, which is A, a fantastic game tag, and B, this is a really bloody good circuit to race around. We are starting with some buffaloes. We're kind of going for a little bit of a, a touring car uh, <laughs> kind of a kind of a race, or maybe a NASCAR uh, kind of a, a road race. I'm going to send myself to the back of the field here. Being host, I tend to get the pole uh, host advantage. At the one minute mark, we will get underway, and we're going to try and hopefully have a, a good race around this track. Oh, there's a big on wheel spin from the car on the left. That didn't quite go particularly to plan for them, but never mind. I also love how some of these cars, so these are all stock cars, of course, that we are that we are using. Some of the cars, depending on the livery you choose, have lime green wheels. And it's not with the livery you might expect. No, the offensive blue uh, gives them lime green wheels. I don't know why. Might be some other colours. Uh, but <laughs> there we go. We've kind of been in traffic all the way uh, through this. Now, this is one of the corners to watch out for. The curb on the inside through here can be very, very nasty. Oh, an orange car as it ended up pointing the wrong way. Oh, and that train line sometimes bounces your car horribly into the air, sometimes does nothing to it, like we did for that one. So, never really know what's going to happen. You've just got to watch out for stuff. Oh, it's side by side. Oh, these got the wider. We were driving the Wagners before this, and that's... Uh, <laughs> that's it's quite the change between this and a Wagner. There's a lot more understeering this. We need to immediately readjust. There is another offensively blue car getting in trouble. We're going to go a long way around there. So we're going to have oh, all that much that we can <laughs> we can do. Uh, it's going to be to the outside. It's going to be almost three wide through this section. We will make it work, though, through there. We've still got a car alongside, although they'll be on the outside, but this is quite a tight corner. You probably don't want to be around the outside there. Uh, the yellow car tangling up ahead. That will give me up to a seventh position. Solid start. Solid start. A couple of, oh, a couple of little light bumps from people. I do not want to be on the outside of three wide here. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't want to do that. However, we have made it through in one piece. We are going to lose out to Scotty down here. Let's get some slipstream. Oh, I can't get back into the draft because Liam's there. I think it's the frosty gold car, are you, and it's going to be trained down towards the first court. Oh, God. I might be able to be a helping hand there. Uh, go on, Ewan. Let's get going. <laughs> oh, I was going to let you go, but... Okay, well... We, so we had a good start. We gained a bunch of positions and uh, just didn't quite get slowed down in time for turn one. Oh, Liam spun in a really... That's not a fun place. That is really not a good place. Amazingly, I think we all got away with that. Um, yes, that's such a difficult... It's a difficult one because if you don't move, you're in an awful place. If you do move, cars might not know where to go to deal with you moving if you go forward or back. It's just not a fun place to end up pointing the, the wrong direction. I'm a little wary about going fast through here, as we saw last lap around, as we almost saw this lap around as well. There's a couple of dinks on the wall. There's still some car connection going on through that. I'm going to go to the outside. We'll make it stick. I'm back up to a sixth place. The leaders have not really escaped away, of course, with the slipstream and catch-up. It means that you can get away with little mistakes and still have a uh, entertaining race. They're going to be rubbing doors through there. They're trying to fit three wide. Nope, doesn't work, guys. Doesn't <laughs> doesn't really work, does it? Three wide for all of that. Uh, the two wide you can get away with. Three wide, a little bit less so in, in this. As I say that, I'm almost on the outside. I'm definitely not going three wide into here. Uh, we managed to fit it through part of this lap last time around here, which is probably one of the more difficult quarters in some ways. Uh, doesn't mean it's a good idea, though, to try and do on a regular basis. The chances of a very big crash are quite high. Now comes the slipstream battle down the start-finish straight. Uh, we're going to stick to the left here. We might actually have a big fire. No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I've already got into trouble once at turn one with a big fire into the corner. I mean, I'm happy at the moment. Still got a couple of laps. There's no need to go... Same, no need to go crazy. I'd rather make sure that I'm still within the group when it matters, which is the final lap, and dive up the inside at the halfway mark and make a silly mistake and then not be able to catch up when it does matter. Oh, we were, <laughs> we, were, we tried it three wide. Again, it wasn't worth it. We tried it three wide. I was bounced across the train tracks and just lost time. I'll catch back up, but lost a bit of time. Uh, we have got nine tails, I think, behind us. I spotted a, a dark red car that will inevitably come and join us. So oh, I'm going to go on the brakes there. I could have maybe shot through the middle, but you've no idea where the green car is going to go. Uh, yeah, there's too many cars together. Little scruffy in places so far as we go side by side. Oh, 
don't hit the curb. Don't put the red car in the wall. The blue car hit the wall on the outside as well. The wall kind of like cuts back in down there, and if you are running wide, you are going to be in trouble. We saw Stinty's car ending up pointing the wrong way from clipping it. Danger Man got off of that wall much better. Didn't quite intend to push it as far that wide. It's, these do understeer a little bit more. Ooh, you can have a look there. I don't know if you'll carry momentum, and indeed you won't. But yeah, these cars are a bit more understeery than we were expecting. We probably should have done... Probably shouldn't have driven the Wagner before driving this. It's not a good... Not a good car to suddenly swap from. Uh, here comes the slipstream of vehicles. That will go off chasing the leader. Uh, Nightales and Scotty are coming to join us. I guess we'll lose the lead briefly, but... You know, not by a huge margin. I'm not going to fire up the inside there. Not worth it. Well, are we on that four out of six. So we want to be... We want to make sure that we are still within the group. Track position, of course, very important. There is potential for a slipstream to the line. Danger Man's almost fallen over through there. That was a huge two-wheeled moment across the curb. <laughs> that curb does different things every time. We've seen cars spin. It's most regularly we see cars spin. I've not seen a car on two wheels yet across that one. Oh, that looked like someone got caught on a bit of concrete wall. Yeah, that was a massive crash behind us. I think somebody brushed the concrete wall and their car got stuck on it and uh, caused chaos. When there are so many cars close together, if a sticky bit of wall grabs your car, there is very little you can do about it. So it, now then there were two, but will there be more before the end of the race? That is the question. I'm very wide for all of that. That was very slow. As expected, there'll be a red car. Oh, there'll be a red car at the inside. Red car, I think, hit the... Go oh, I was going to try and push the front round and get it point. Oh, that's another terrible place to have got stuck. Uh, the car on the inside clipped the... I think it's like a metal, metal drum. It's marking like the cord, like the apex marker, if you like. I'm pretty sure that hit the drum pinged out wide and well I'm there <laughs> you know it's, it's it has been a bit scrappy it's been a bit maybe this is well no it'd be perfect touring car or oh, oh, NASCAR it's yeah <laughs> as expected as expected we're still sat in third place with a couple of laps to go so there is chances for us oh I pulled out the slipstream and nothing's happened we have not quite slingshotted as, as expected really so brazen leads from me Stinty in second who is going to have a look at the inside, actually a little too wide on my own uh, through all of that. I was giving space, I just didn't quite mean to give that much space through all of all of that one. We've got then uh, I think Gliska's dropped back, but he's in fourth, uh, so not too far away from the fight. I think Ninetales is still somewhere around there with Scotty and one Who knows who will be able to recover. Oh, there goes Stinty into the wall. Big hit for the blue car. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to turn in too soon. You don't want to turn into suits. Oh, maybe it was those concrete barriers down there that caught a car. I don't, I don't know. I didn't, wasn't paying attention to the cars on the outside as much as I was uh, to where my car was going to be. Not going to try and go too wide into this chicane. Might have a look at the inside here. This should be a fairly straightforward pass if we can get it done. Yep, Brazen will duck back into line. The front of some of these cars does not look healthy. I think mine's probably one of the healthiest looking cars. Mine's got minor damage compared to mo mine still vaguely resembles a buffalo uh, just just about oh uh, brazen hit something and has all fallen back and i've hit something we've hit too many there's been a lot of like clips on the wall far too many minor clips on the wall i just probably made the least of them and that's how i've ended up at the front and i say we're running away we will be caught on this fire out the question is Will I be caught in time? I have a pretty sizable gap here. We do have a pretty sizable gap, which is helpful when it comes to, you know, the last lap. There is a very... So, <laughs> can, I, can I hold off the horde? There is a huge pack of cars uh, behind. Now, that can be bad news for me. If they work very well together, they will be slipstreaming, they'll be uh, flying past one another, and will catch me very quickly. I have no slipstream friends, and... I have the full effect of catch up, slowing my car down. Now, it's mostly in a straight line, but it's still going to be slow. If they are working well together, they will catch me quickly. If they aren't, and if they fight each other for position, if they battle for second uh, incessantly side by side and whatnot, they mitigate some of their advantages, and I might be able to just stay out here. It does look like they've got two cars out in front now of that group, though. Uh, yeah, they've got a couple of cars leading the train towards me. It's so slow down <laughs> when you've got such a big lead. Uh, we will just... I mean, all I've got to do is not make any silly mistakes. That's pretty much all I can do. Drive as fast as I can. Don't make any silly mistakes. Uh, we clipped the curb. It got us a little sideways, but it's not really cost us much through there. We'll bobble over that curb as well. Is there anybody close enough? I don't think they're going to be, you know, because their catch-up is not as good through this final section. It's all twisty. 
Yeah, their, their breakaway was not enough. They have not had enough time unless I beans it on this final corner, which, I mean, let's face it, it's me, it's possible. However, I'm going to have a lift through there. I, I can take it flat, but there's no real need. They're not going to have enough time. I think we actually end this with about a similar gap back as we did previously. The rather battered up yellow car comes across the line in a second place. It was, <laughs> it was a busy race. I think a few of us caught out by the understeer that was going on from all of all of all of these. Yeah, as I said, we just took a back before this. Oh, that was an unfortunate, <laughs> unfortunate collision through there as well. Um, yeah, there was it was it was touring carry. It, it was touring carry to say the least in all of that. I think there's a 27 somewhere for for the fastest lap. I'll take a victory. I'll take a victory. Basically, stayed out of trouble and hit the wall the least. I guess it works. So, we're going to try now the Wagners around here. I mean, I'm hoping there might be less understeery bumps. There might be just more high speed bumps because these cars change direction incredibly well. Uh, who knows what'll happen. Theoretically, it should be good fun. <laughs> it should be good fun. So this is a really, really good track. This is a really, really good track. Well, that's a good start. Uh, I, mean, I came out of that relatively poorly, but it could have been a lot worse. Uh, one of the issues with these cars, one of the issues you see with GTA 5 is if the back of cars get connected, you just get stuck turning into one another. It's one of their horrible uh, collision uh, things that they do with the game. And yeah, once once you get the tiny tap that sends the car sideways, you're kind of done for. Uh, we try our best to avoid it, but you know, there's always going to be little bits. Hyper actually has recovered quite well, considering he's upside down at turn one. That was a massive butt sniff. Where's Brazer going to go? <laughs> This is dangerous. <laughs> Definitely think there should be a caution somewhere. Uh, we've made it through. We've made it through. Hyper's made it through. I think we're about the only ones that made it through from the further back. I don't know what caused Brazen's car to go for a roll, but something got really upset in that. That was spectacularly tumbling. Uh, but there we go. Oh, no. I don't want to be part of a three wide through there. <laughs> it's not going to work. You know it's not going to work. It's, it's, oh, that's... Oh, no, guys, it's not going to fit. It didn't. You know? It didn't fit. Me and Liam have got to the front because we just sat and watched. <laughs> Hewan has survived. Best of the rest. But there we go. <laughs> the Magna has a lot of grip. Doesn't mean you can get away with absolutely everything with it. Um, oh, that was a little bit of a slither through there. The final section on this track when you're driving around on your own is absolutely fantastic. Uh, with, with the Wagner, because it's so fast and so grippy, you can be flat out almost the whole way through the various sort of switchback corners, chicanes, and so you just it's really very, very good fun in this car. Uh, Liam's going to be close, but not going to be close enough to have a look. Got to watch for the curbs, though. Easy to unsettle this vehicle. This is probably one of the few places where you don't want to overtake on this track. That chicane, you just want everybody to sort themselves out through it and try and not run into the back of the car ahead. Now, I'm going to move across. I'm going to make it very clear. I will be on this side of the road. If you want to slipstream past, go for it. Just go to the other side. Scotty has a very, very big run. Around the, oh, around the outside. Turn it a bit too much there. So I'm going to want to make it too wide. No one really wants to go too wide through that chicane. It's, 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 you can do it, um, ooh, but it's very risky. Normally, if you do, you have to have a big lift, and you're often just better falling into line behind somebody, basically. Just the, it's the risk. Again, we're at the second lap of the race. You know, you're better off just having a lift for now. You might do it on the very final lap, uh, but second lap of the race, probably not worth it. You can just, you know, you fall off into the drink. You probably won't have time to uh, catch back up again. Uh, we will be here. Yeah, we're very quick through here. This is where you kind of have to just be a little bit patient. Don't do anything foolish. Get a good exit. Sit in the slipstream trail if you can. We get a good run and we will go past. So if that had been the final lap, we would have won the race. It would have only been just, but we would have won the race. There goes the white car shooting past. Liam will go up to a second place. I will fall back to third. Scotty actually gets a really good cutback to the inside through all of that. And I'm now dumped back to fourth. Probably won't last. Yeah, who's going who's gonna to yield? It's going to be actually well, no real yielding as such. They just took very different lines. I've got a frosty gold car all over the back of me. Uh, big twitches from both of us across there. <laughs> and I'm falling. Falling to fifth. I'm going out of the slipstream trail. Uh, it's just a bit of an iffy start to this lap. It'll get better. We will be brought back up to them as long as we stay out of trouble. Don't give a big punt to the gold car through the fast iffy sections. Gold car's on the curb. I will take that one from you and Scotty's up in the wall. I will oh, 
dive through there. I dove a little bit, a little bit deep, than I, <laughs> a little bit deeper than I wanted to. Uh, Liam got a big slide, and Red's got a big slide as well from the lead. So yeah, I mean the lap didn't start well for me. However, it's gonna end fairly well. There's a blue car behind giving us a help. <laughs> it's proper, it's proper NASCAR. We have just two solid lines pushing each other towards the next corner. You know, f fair enough. F fair enough. Um, I mean, we literally end this lap as we did the previous one. Slightly different cars. I again end crossing the line in front. This is a huge group of vehicles. It's a massive, massive group of cars that is uh, trying to congregate towards the lead of the race. Big, big pack. Like, three-car battle? That's normally okay. Eight-car battle? That's trouble. That's that's trouble because someone's going to make a slightly unexpected move in that group and will lead to a problem and if it's the car in eighth that's fine if it's the car in second that's not fine because it's walled in here and you get no margin for error i've got no real slipstream not that there's much that we can do at this particular moment in time they're too wide ahead of me and i don't really want to make it three wide it's, 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 oh there's a big run from someone behind and there we go that's why an eight car battle is is, is tricky uh, someone behind just had to make a run towards that chicane Probably shouldn't have tried to make it work. So we went from third to eleventh. Oh, and we're back with Liam again. Hey, Liam. This is, we were side by side battling for position for second and third this time at last lap. <laughs> yeah, how t how times change. But then that's also been tight change. We'll go back our way as well. We've had a mega quick section. Over there, already back up to. Oh, Liam having a big dive does make it work. Brazen got in trouble on the side of <laughs> Blakey's car. It's manic. It's, this circuit is absolutely bonkers, it seems. Few too many contacts, but there we go. We might be able to whoa, recover. What have we got lap-wise? All right, we've got, we got, we got time. We've got time. We'll bring Liam and probably Blakey with us. Uh, Liam actually fell back a little bit. I think trying to dodge out of the way of Brazen's car. Uh, Liam might have lost a little bit of time in all of that. We're going to run wide. The four wide up ahead. That's going to end in trouble for somebody. Yep. <laughs> Kind of the expected trouble for someone in a four-wide situation. I might be on for a good lap here if I can fit, like, lap time-wise, if I can finish it off here, because we're back up to fifth and almost into the fight. Blakey will be on for a similar lap time to me. Uh, not the fastest lap of the race matters in the slightest. It's just fun to be able to get. Yeah, so we're back in the group, although Scotty hit the wall on the inside and caused chaos. <laughs> oh, this is... He's going to get busy again. You know, we saw how well the eight-car battle for the lead went last time. It's now a six-car battle for the lead. So it will quickly become a bigger group. You just can't run as... You saw how quick I was running on my own for a couple of corners. You saw how quick we could go compared to what you do when you're in this sort of a group. In fact, that Liam, I think, has come to join us. Scotty and Ninetales got connected. Oh, across there. They'll peel off, although they'll both get going. It wasn't a big, big crash. They'll both get going pretty quick and probably rejoin this fight before the end of the race. Oh, and we're busy looking for a way past. I've got to try and be. I've got to be in the right place, of course, for a slipstream to the line. If it comes down to that, I was a little too far back this time. Stinty's got a mega run. Bliska would win it, but <laughs> we got two more laps to go. It's important to know where you need to be in the case of the slipstream, as I now lead the way through the first corner. In the case of that slipstream battle to the finish line, that was very close. Oh, that was close. Judge to perfection, I choose to believe. There, we're going to go with the judge to perfection mark rather than sheer blind luck. And I didn't think Stinty was close enough to quite be there. <laughs> I'm going to go with judge to perfection. So we'll move across. Oh, okay. Well, this guy wanted to try and shoot that particular narrow gap. And I guess we will go. Oh, no. This one's on the other way. Yeah, I was trying to kind of get to the inside. Someone's oh, slightly lagging on the wall. Oh, oh, that was some bravery. Any one of us had hit the uh, like big orange curb markings, we would have all crashed. Especially if it had been Liam. If Liam had hit that, it would have just taken a lot of us out. But uh, we got away with it again. We're playing it risky. Um, <laughs> the slightest, all it takes is just the tiniest miscalculation. I think I might have actually been the one to give Liam just the briefest of touches through all of that. It's manic. But then again, we're going to do this. We're going to fight side by side. And then they're going to be back up with us by the end of the bloody lap. So we are going to we are going to try and get in the slipstream trails of Stinty. Now, Ninetales is close behind us. It might come back to a three-car battle here. Oh, it wasn't Ninetales. It was Blakey. Do apologise. Oh, this is the final lap. Ninetales is there, but it fell back. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows what's going on with this? It is potentially a three-car battle to the end here. Stinty's going to go around the outside. Actually, a good move. 
around there, making that work. I'm going to try to get up the inside of Blakey while they were slow. That will work out for me. Can we Can throw it across the curb too hard? You'll get in trouble. Stinty ping the wall. Nowhere to really go down here. That's a big, big bobbling. Blakey gets the run. Oh, now, do we? We get a big drive here. We will actually get to the inside. We will take the lead at the top of the course. Can we hold on to it? Nope, but Stinty will just wrap. <laughs> oh, Stinty's hit the wall big time. I've had to check up. Blakey had nowhere to go. Ends up in the bag of me. I mean, yeah, that was one of those. I think Stinty actually did a really good job of managing to not get back the outside wall, but I have to check up because you just don't know if the car's going to end up there. So, yeah, unfortunately for Blakey, he chose to follow me, which is probably the sensible thing to do because, well, Stinty was crashing and ends up with not having anywhere to go. You just can't, you just can't do anything. If the car's ahead of stopping to avoid a crash, there is bugger all. You can do Stinty with a big move. This might actually screw us both over here, possibly. Stinty with the very, very big move to the inside. It's a fantastic pass through there. Can I get enough slipstream to get Stinty? Will Blakey get the pair reverses the drag race to the line? No, Stinty did it! We bumped doors! I thought Blakey was going the other way. Oh, I was hoping Blakey was going the other way because I can't look back. I think we bumped doors. We both killed all of our momentum. And <laughs> Stinty got it. Oh, what a finish. What a finish indeed. Jeez. First to third covered by a tenth of a second. Danger Man was only, what, two tenths, three tenths down with that big slipstream pull to the line. Oh... Yeah. <laughs> I think if if I'd realised what way Blakey was going, uh, whether Blakey got the other way or whether I got the other way, whichever, if we hadn't both gone to the same side, that would have been a stinty third and probably Blakey win. As it was, we managed to bump stinty across the line. Oh dear. But there we go. That's uh, at the end of the day, I'll tell what matters. Um, that was a <laughs> manic race. Very good fun circuit. Very exciting racing. Uh, we, in the end, came out with a first and a second. It works pretty well for me. Works pretty well for me. Uh, Praise with a 15. Uh, probably in clear air with a little bit of slipstream help. Yeah, you can run these cars very fast. The Wagner's amazing around there. Manic race, but is very, very good fun to drive when you get it right. That, though, is going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. And until next time, a goodbye.